here at the National Theater again. <laughs> yes. And we just saw Jane Eyre. Yeah. I didn't know anything about the, this book or this play. Yeah. I knew yeah. it was. I knew it. I, of course, I knew it was a famous book uh, uh, that took place in the UK. Didn't know much about it. Written by a woman and directed. Oh, and the it play is. is directed by a woman as well. Uh, I knew that it would be sort of feminist. I knew that uh, that the production was kind of minimalist, mm -hmm. uh, and I knew it was long. <laughs> yeah, three hours and ten minutes. Uh, what did you think of this show? I think it was good. It was well done in many ways. I think like the the main actress was really good. She was like always with this very like feeling it a lot. Not accepting the world as uh, the things that as they are, just because of custom, just because of like it's supposed how it's supposed to be. Very like independence, independent in this sense and. Some other parts I liked as well, but overall was like a bit tiring. I felt like the three hours coming, and uh, the character is quite captivating. I think she's much much smarter than what anybody would expect of her, what mm -hmm. that uh, age would expect of her, what society would expect of her, what we would expect of her. Uh, she knows her rights, she knows what she deserves, and she does not take less than what she should be getting or what she thinks mm -hmm. she should be getting, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so since the beginning she's a kid and she already knows the little society she's in, the family she's in, is not fair and yes. it's unjust. Yes, yeah. all the while feeling terrified about like being punished and like being terrified about like yeah. a lot of stuff. And, like, so she. She's scared, but nevertheless, she like faces her fears sometimes. Yeah, and uh, at the same time, she, she's very adaptable. Like she's okay yes. with, uh, like she says, following rules and following religion. Mm -hmm. But uh, she she wants justice, and she does not want to be. Uh, she wants freedom. She wants yes, like yes, liberty. Yes. That's yes. like the, the main and, thing. And if she can't have it, she'll have change. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I, I had a great time watching it. I, th yeah. I thought it was beautiful. I thought it was really nice. It was, it was such a, it had such style, right? Mm -hmm. In the way he was telling a story and he was telling a story. Yeah, like I was, I was captivated. I was immersed in the story. I was not bored. I thought it was really long. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so it did make me tired, especially because of the seats that we were mm -hmm. on, that were not the most comfortable ones. But I thought it was really, really nice. I like the, the story of uh, most of her life, the, the sorts of life that she lived as I see it. Mm -hmm. So like first we are introduced to how she was a child and what was the environment back then, what she faced then. Mm -hmm. And then when she moved, when she goes to a new city, we, we get to know how her life was in that city. So it's more like yeah. you looking back in your life and you think, oh, when I lived in that city uh -huh. and then I lived there for yeah, 20 years and then I went to college and I yeah. studied there for four years. So it's kind of a way of seeing your life, yeah. right? And seeing the person that she became and she was, she always was. Mm, yeah, it shows a lot of like daily life things like, yeah, like oh, she takes a lot, long time for her to like wear a dress and get prepared and like shows her like suing and like small things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like mm -hmm. that. It's uh, quite feminist in a way. Yeah, the, the actress, she was superb, like she was, Amazing, she was so into character, she, she, she was awesome and so much that in the end, like during curtain call, she was crying, mm -hmm. she was very emotional and I, I really don't think she was faking it. No, no, no she yeah. seemed very, very happy and proud mm -hmm. to be there, like that was so nice that like during curtain call I didn't look at anybody else, I was just staring at her. Yeah. Uh, uh, music. Yes, I really love the music. There's, there's this amazing singer, the soprano or something like that, like with her voice. Ah, that was like That's very beautiful. like... Yes. There are some things that really, really enjoyed. Some like theatrical like efforts and devices that were like very ingenious, very yes. smart. Like when there's a, a actor playing a dog and it comes 10 times, I think, in 10 different scenes and he's like so funny, so real, so yes. like good. And like, I don't know, other small things, like, well, the, 
all the sung, sung numbers were really enjoyable and like I think the, when they like when she's moving from one place to another like there was they were like running and there was like the same yeah. song yeah. and the same feeling of like goodbye this town and let's start something new uh, but at the same time uh, some some of these same devices that I like some others like felt a little bit redundant a little bit uh, extra and I didn't get they were like maybe beautiful they were like interesting and new but they didn't like made that much sense like the thing with the when she was teaching her first students and then they, they are all with the, the frames and at times I felt like there was it was a very um, slow play like I felt like the, I wanted more background information more not only like information but like I wanted more background more uh, characters more felt like it could have been shorter or having like more more plot into it. it didn't feel like a uh, adaptation of a, of a novel. Like at times, it wasn't like very sure why she was doing what she was doing, why the characters were doing what they were doing, and like you, if you blinked at once, you missed like a line or two. Like I felt like the. The guy with, with whom she ends marrying in the end, like, or together in the end, like, why exactly doesn't she like him? Why exactly does he hate his wife? Like, was like, I could get a little bit, but it felt like a little bit that they did on purpose of, like, not explaining things. Yes. And, mm. Yeah, I think it was a bit of the style of this production, especially, like, they didn't have explicit sets or mm -hmm. or props, so a lot was left for imagination. Mm -hmm. And I think regarding the plot, also like for me, some of the reasons of characters doing things for me they were very clear, but they were not explicit in the play. Yeah. So I'm, I'm never sure. Like, oh, yeah. is this the explanation that I created the mm -hmm. real one, mm -hmm. or you know, you never know. Yeah. But that didn't bother me. Me in general. It bothered me in the end mostly. Yeah. If I were to give stars for my mm -hmm. personal experience, I think I would have to give it three stars. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was it was beautiful, it was brilliant, it was so nice the way that they used to tell the story. Uh, I personally I was very focused, I was with them while they were telling the story, but I was not emotionally involved, if that's mm -hmm. what I mean. Yeah, I'll have to agree with you. Three stars for me as well. Three stars as well. Yes. Three stars. Makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. It's so nice when we agree. Yes. <laughs> so that was an Gen evening Air. with Jen Air at the National Theater. Uh, I really liked my time here. Yeah. I always do. I, I never had a bad experience here. Yeah? So, yes. <laughs> not at all.